Hey guys, welcome to the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I would appreciate it. Um, tons of great videos on other things, including arcade games, if you are into that. So what we're going to do today, I just bought this at uh, Fred Meyer, which is like a Walmart for those of you that don't have a Fred Meyer. Um, it was a great sale. It was $79.99. Um, this is the security camera system, uh, Blink, uh, part of like an Amazon um, like spinoff company. Um, before we open it up here, we're, we're going to go through the whole process of opening this up, seeing what's inside and then getting everything hooked up and talking about how difficult it is and seeing what type of video quality and all that. Um, in the box here, we're going to get a camera, the sync module, a couple of, uh, lithium AA batteries, a mounting kit, a user guide, a USB cable, and a power adapter. Um, a lot of cool stuff here. So um, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see if I can do this here while I've got this cute little packaging. Looks like this top will just slide right off here. Oops. And... That's what's inside. Here is our camera. Nice and pretty and uh, uh, very discreet looking, depending on where you want to put it. Oh, that's great that it comes with uh, the mounting hardware. I was looking online uh, about buying one. I didn't know if it was going to come with it or not, but these were, were kind of spendy. So, um, and a lot of the, a lot of the places I was looking at were sold out. So we got the mounting hardware there. Let's move this. We got a couple Energizer AA Lithiums. These are pricey in themselves. I think a two pack's like $5.99. Um, some screws for the mounting hardware. Um, here is our user's guide, setup guide. Okay. Here is the sync module. We'll probably put that in a, in a if very small too, easy to hide wherever you need to put it. Um, and then we got a small USB cable. That's probably a three footer. And it has the, uh, like the, uh, is that going to focus in? There it is. Like the old, um, Android type charger. Um, and then a power adapter. So, Okay, um, we got everything here. Let's work on now getting this all connected. Let's look at the setup guide here really quick, and I'll be right back and kind of uh, paraphrase what's going on in here. Okay, guys, so I downloaded the app, okay? Uh, you put in your email address, create a password, then it sends you a verification link. It did take about three or four minutes for that, that uh, verification email to show up. Uh, so don't stress too much. Uh, it'll show up uh, eventually. It just takes a few minutes. Um, I got the, um, what are they referring to this as? The sync module uh, plugged in. I'm eventually just going to bring that uh, uh, downstairs like in my entertainment center next to my router or something. Um, and we'll, we'll see. It says up to 100 feet the cameras can be away, but we'll see how that works out and kind of do what we got to do. Um, I do need to install the batteries uh, in this here. So what it wants us to do is you push down on this and it's like spring loaded inside and it's kind of like a suction. Oop, there we go. Um, and it'll pop off there and you can see um, there's a place here if you want to like plug it in, like set up to be able to plug in and not use batteries. Um, and that's what this cover for is there if you need to eventually do that. Um, so I'm just going to install the batteries now. Okay. And, okay. Okay. Batteries installed. We're going to put the uh, top back on here. Um, and it's just going to kind of snap into place. It's kind of like a, like a suction type of fit. 
I think that's part of the the weatherproof part of it. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of like a little little rubber piece. You just push that down, and then as you're doing that pull up, it kind of tells you the instructions on the back here. Okay, now let's see if we can get all this stuff synced up in the app. Uh, I will be right back and kind of tell you how that goes. And ultimately, at the end, when this is all hooked up, uh, we'll show some uh, video footage of what it actually looks like while it's recording. So be right back. One thing to note on this, guys, when you are taking off the back, when you're pushing this down and pulling this off, I'm not going to do it again, but you put your batteries in here, and then there's a white box in the middle with serial numbers and various things and a little QR code up here. Um, while you have the back off is when you can sync this up uh, in the app. You can either scan the QR code like this underneath once you have the back off or you can you know write down the nine digit number or type in the nine digit number manually this is what it looks like inside the app guys this is one of the first screens that you're going to see um, just kind of like the start screen you hit the blink button there at the top to begin um, this is the next screen telling you about adding a system and what a system is it's basically just the sync module and then one or more of the cameras this screen here, uh, you can actually name your system. So whether you want it like they suggest, home office, vacation, condo, or anything else that you wanted to name it. This is the first screen you're going to see about adding a sync module. Um, you basically just hit the add sync module at the bottom there, and that will launch you into this next screen here. It's kind of telling you what you're going to need. Um, there's a QR code on the back of the sync module or a nine-digit serial number you can manually enter. Um, once you've done that, it's wanting to make sure that the lights on the sync module match up to what's actually happening on the screen there. Um, and then once you confirm that, you go into this screen here where it's connecting to the, the servers. It took about two or three minutes for me. Um, this is where you add the camera, and um, the camera works very similar to the uh, sync module. You'll just hit the plus button there. It will launch you into this screen where you can either enter the serial number manually or you can scan the QR code on the back of the camera. Once that happens, um, firmware is going to get updated on the camera, and it's kind of giving you some tips here. Um, on, you know, placement of the camera, um, talking about on this screen here, the two-way audio, which works great, by the way, uh, but just giving you some information about that and granting microphone permission. And then this here is, uh, once it's hooked up, what's it, what it looks like inside of the app. Next, though, what we're going to do is we're going to work on it looks like this is like friction based of how this goes in here. Let's take a look. Um, I have to read the manual on that, but it, it appears to be friction based. On, oh yeah, it is. It just snapped in. Just took a little bit of force. Um, and then we're going to mount this. I'm going to put this up in the garage. And then um, it looks like yeah, we'll figure out exactly how we're going to have to, before we put the camera on, we're going to have to mount this. All right, guys, after doing a little bit of quick research online, um, this is obviously the mount piece, and it does have the swivel base. Kind of cool. Um, this is a riser piece, so this is additional. If you want the camera to get further out away from the wall um, to allow you just a greater uh, viewing angle, um, depending on what you're looking for, you can use this. And this would just go on the back like so. And they give you the two wood screws here. Um, you know, so depending on what you're going into, these will work for, you know, wood-based mounts. And if you need to do something different, you're going to have to uh, go to the hardware store and talk with them. But uh, we're going to get this hooked up really quick, and then I will be back and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, this is where I mounted mine, just up in the corner there. Um, fits pretty well. And... 
I think one screw went into a stud and one went into drywall, but it seems to be in there okay. Okay, just testing out the audio on this thing, seeing what it's like. And, uh, yeah, okay. All right, guys, well, what do you think? There it was. Um, I think it's a darn good camera for the money, to be honest. Um, I love the audio option. Um, it sounds great. Um, you know, battery lifetime will tell, but from reviews I've read online, um, seems pretty par for the course. I love the look of the camera. I think it's discreet. It's nice looking. Uh, video is high quality. Um, you know, good night vision. Uh, like I said, I think overall, great little camera for the money. Um, it did come with a little security sticker in here too that you could put on your window or whatever that said, you know, protect, what's it say? Let's take a quick peek here. Um, it says, see if we can read that, protected by blink video security. So, um, yeah, overall, I think a great camera for the money and, uh, would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, please like subscribe and comment and have a good day and thanks for watching.